Hey there. So uh, most of the time you will see this type of JSON file in YouTube tutorial, uh, nice and small. But uh, what we're going to do during this video, we're going to uh, actually go and use a real life example. So uh, this is a JSON file from an API from SpaceX. So um, this JSON file contains the data about launching. SpaceX is a space company uh, launching rockets. So we're going to uh, extract the data from this JSON file and uh, we're going to send it in DynamoDB. And after that, we're going to query DynamoDB. So I'm going to use PyCharm. You can use uh, whatever ID you want. I'm going to first put the URL inside a variable. And then uh, I'm going to try to open it. But we need a new library, the URL lib request import URL open. Okay, perfect. So now I'm going to put that inside a new variable, JSON URL. And then I'm going to open it. URL open, URL, perfect. And after that, I'm going to transform it into a dictionary because Python doesn't handle JSON files. So JSON.load, uh, and then I'm going to put the variable.read. Perfect. Yeah, I need to import the JSON library. Okay, that's done. Let's try to print it to see if everything is working fine. Perfect. Okay, next step now. Now we need to go ahead and extract the data from the JSON file, but first let's try to find out what the file is made of. So we're going to use pretty print from uh, Python. Um, let's import it. And then let's pretty print the text. Okay, it's printing, but uh, yeah, we cannot see it inside the IDE. So uh, I like to use the Firefox browser. So I paste the URL of the API. I have this. So I'm going to go on the raw data and then I'm going to use pretty print. We can see now that the file is actually a, a, a list made of dictionary and what we need to do right now, we need to go ahead and select the data that we're going to extract from there and send to DynamoDB. You can select whatever you want really, but uh, for the purpose of this exercise, uh, we're going to select the mission name. We're going to select the launch year. We can also try to see who was the customer. We also going to get the nationality. We also want to know if it was a success or a failure. So we can get it right here. And in case of a failure, we can also get the reasons. So let's go ahead and do that into PyCharm. Okay, back into PyCharm. So first let's comment out the pretty print. We don't need it right now. We're going to create a dictionary. Uh, DynamoDB like dictionary better. So that's what we're going to send to DynamoDB. And uh, in the dictionary, we're going to put the first element, which is the mission name. It's inside the text variable, which is a list, and it's the first element, so zero. And then we're going to select the key of the dictionary that we want, mission name. Okay, so uh, let's try to print it out to see if it's working, if we're good so far. So far, so good. Okay, let's go to the next step. Second element of the dictionary. It's going to be the launch year. Um, it's still going to be inside the text variable, probably the first element. Yes, and uh, let's select the key. We just copy it and um, we're going to paste it inside our PyCharm. Perfect. The third element now. Um, we say that it was going to be the nationality. We're going to call it country just to have a different name. It's so down there. So it's a nested dictionary type of situation. So we have rocket, we have second stage, we have payload, and then we get nationality inside the list. So let's go into text first element again. And uh, we're going to get rocket. Okay, and then uh, we're going to get the other element that was uh, second stage. Okay, and then uh, we had a third element. Yes, that was payload. Okay, payload is actually a list. So we're going to select the first element of the list and inside that we're going to get nationality. 
so let's get that and then done and then let's print it just to make sure that we good we good so far so far so good okay i'm just going to speed up and do the rest of it real quick so for the device it's a little bit the same so we're just going to change the last key hello type and then uh customer again it's a little bit the same last element customer okay and then uh launch success okay this one is not in inside rocket so we're going to get that directly okay and finally the reason of the failure okay let's go ahead and get that also okay and then a reason Okay, let's print it to see if it's working. Perfect. We're good. Okay, so that was just the first element. Let's remove all the print. We want all the launch inside the JSON file. So we're going to create a loop to loop through the JSON file. But first we create a list, an empty list. And then we create a while loop. Okay, length. And then uh, we're going to create a for loop inside the while loop. Uh, inside text okay perfect so now we put everything inside the for loop and uh, we append all the dictionary inside the list we just created perfect okay so we increase the counter okay we print just to verify that uh, okay so yeah it's still the first element we're going to replace all the zero into i Okay, so just to make sure that we're going through the whole JSON file. Okay, we have an error, light 21. So yeah, we have to create the if statement. Only if the mission uh, is a failure, we're going to collect the failure reason. Otherwise, we don't need a failure reason. So, okay, let's see. Still an error. Okay, so let's, okay. Perfect. It's working now. We're good to good. Okay, so now that we have the Dynamo list and we're going to send that to DynamoDB. So first we need to go back in the AWS console, log into IAM and uh, add a user. We're going to call it Dynamo list user, okay, programmatic access and uh, we're going to attach a policy. So we're going to search for Dynamo and for the sake of this exercise, we're going to select the full access don't do that in production for the tag we're going to use test test we verify if everything is correct and then we're going to create the user okay perfect we're going to also download the csv you know we're going to use it later and then um, we also if you haven't done that yet you also need to install the aws cli you just download that and then you install it if you windows you have the instruction for mac os and linux as well you download and install it and then you type AWS configure inside the CMG and then you enter the AWS access ID. I already done that so I'm not going to do it again. So you just do that and then uh, you can go ahead and uh, also install Boro3 which is the library that we're going to use to communicate with DynamoDB. So let's install it and wait for the installation to finish. Okay. Oh, it's taking a little bit of time so perfect successful so let's go ahead and import it okay we're going to import it import boro tree great okay before moving forward we need to create a table inside dynamo gb so let's get back to the console inside dynamo gb and click on create table we're going to name it SpaceX table and then we have a partition key and a sort key. The combination between the partition key and the sort key have to be unique. So we're going to select mission name for partition key and uh, for uh, sort key launch here. Let's create a table and see if everything is working fine. Okay. Uh, sweet. 
So let's send uh, all the data to that Dynamo GB table we just created. So we need to create a new variable named Dynamo GB. We're going to put the photo tree resource method and we're using Dynamo GB, so that's the resource. And then we create another variable named table and um, we're going to put the name of the table. Let's make sure we have the right name, perfect. So now let's create a loop. You know to loop inside the, the list the dynamo list and send uh, all the dictionary to the dynamo tv table so we use it we using range you know, because we are looping with numbers and uh, we're going to use put items and uh, the item will be each element of the dynamo list i okay perfect uh let's go ahead and run in run it and see if it's working Okay, uh, we're waiting, we're waiting for the confirmation of PyCharm. Sweet, let's go back and see if we have everything. Oh, magic. So everything is inside the DynamoDB table, so yeah, everything. The name, the launch year, the country, okay, we can organize by year, perfect, we have the customers. So every time we have a failure, we have a failure reason. That's wonderful. Okay, now let's let's query the table we just created in DynamoDB. We need a new library for that, the Bottle Tree DynamoDB condition, and we're going to import the key. Let's create a new variable uh, named response to store the query that we're going to do on the table. So we need a key condition expression and uh, we go into uh, do a condition based on the key. The key will be the partition key of the table we just created, so mission name. And uh, the condition will be has to be equal to a certain value. So let's go in the JSON file and select a random uh, mission name, Trailblazer, okay. Okay, so is it working? see yes yeah, so but we need to print something let's print the response and see what we get in the response okay uh, yeah. okay we have the response so we can see that everything is inside the items it's a dictionary and everything we want is inside items so let's go ahead and uh, let's try to find out if the Trailblazer mission was actually a success or a failure. So we have a, a dictionary and uh, inside the dictionary we have a list and uh, we're going to select the key launch success. Let's run it. So if it's true, it was a success. If it's false, it was a failure. Uh, perfect. So that's it's about uh, sending a real life JSON file into DynamoGB. Uh, thank you for following and keep learning.